Uh, I just maybe give a little background of myself. So I went to Concordia University in Irvine, graduate with a finance degree, um, worked in corporate for a couple of years. Before that, I've been investing in the stock market since I was around 15 years old. I was lucky enough to borrow my parents' account, uh, you know, invest, you know, from there, you know, whatever birthday money I would get, I would just put it in, you know, Apple and all those kind of shares. Um, I've been trading options for a couple of years now. And, you know, during the coronavirus and all that stuff, you know, we, I kind of realized that, you know, a lot of people kind of need help um, financially. And I thought it was a good idea to kind of share my knowledge to everyone, um, you know, to make money, right? Because, you know, money is kind of tough in these days. So um, this was the main purpose of creating this group. Uh, with Elkin and I, um, Alex, let me uh, mute you for a second. Thank you very much. Um, that being said, you know, that's just a quick little intro. I'm not, I'm not even important. We'll just get to the meat of the class. So we're going to start out with just talking about our discord, you know, how to use it. You know, I know there's some people that are kind of new to discord and I want you guys to get lost. Um, so let's go through that. So here's the welcome page. You know, there's some channels that really don't apply to you that you don't even have to bother looking at. You know, our rules section basically just shows, you know, the rules that we have for this chat. Um, you know, no harassment of any kind, you know, sexual harassment or encouraging of harassment, any of that. Um, can't post or link any harmful or hurtful material. Um, you know, any material that's not safe, but we're just gonna, you know, get over that. You know, we're not gonna do that. Um, don't spam in the channels uh, or in voice. You know, don't go crazy talking for 30 minutes about something non stock related. Um, don't promote any other service, you know, as far as any other Discord uh, trading servers. Um, you know, you guys can feel free. If you guys are, you know, a fitness coach or, you know, private chef or whatever, um, you guys can definitely promote what you do outside of trading. I, we have no problem with that. Just keep in the, the coffee break or introduce yourself to section. Um, so feel free to do that. Um, and just be respectful, you know, to all other traders. Um, you know, everyone here is, has the same goal, right? Everyone here is just trying to make money and learn. Um, so. Don't, you know, if you're new, don't worry, ask as many questions as you want. We're all here to learn. Um, and yeah, that, that's the rule section. Welcome page is, you know, you guys don't even worry about that. What you can actually do is right click this and you can mute it. So that way you're not getting bombarded with messages. Um, so you can do that. Um, where to start. Where to start basically tells you, you know, if you're still lost in the discord, this channel will tell you what each channel means, right? And you can click the hashtag and it will take you there. So there's just a short description of what each channel means. Announcements, you know, anything important that we think that we need to post for you guys, you know, we want to make sure that you guys don't miss it. You know, if we have something important. We're not going to put in the premium chat because we'll get lost in two minutes. You know, we'll put it in the announcement section. So, you know, keep your eye on that. And every month we have a giveaway, um, you know, for merchandise. So don't uh, forget to click on that owl emoji to be a part of the giveaway. Um, you know, you, you, there's going to be two winners. You're going to head to our merch store, pick one item. Um, and, you know, we'll, it's covered by me. So. Don't forget to enter the giveaway disclaimer. You know, it's mainly for us. It doesn't really matter to you guys. You know, we just want to make sure that we don't get into any legal disputes. Invite link, you know, as many of you guys not might not know, um, you guys do have a referral link. Uh, you get 15% back, um, per person you bring for that month. So take advantage of this while it's there. You know, we're going to actually be, we have a lot that's going to be changed. Um, you know, working with Salmon, Sasan stocks as his username goes by. Um, 
So, you know, t take advantage of that. Um, you know, you just type in dollar sign refer, you get this link and you copy that link and you send it to your friends or family. Suggestions, you know, if you guys have any suggestions for us, we take it very seriously. Um, if you guys really like something, you know, you can always let us know as well. Um, but if there's something that you think that we should change or update, etc., please put in the suggestions channel. We'll take a look at it. Merch, if you guys really, you know, like, you know, our merchandise, you know, we have a store. You know, if you guys really want, you know, an owl's merchandise, you know, obviously there's no pressure in getting them. It's just there. Um, color roll is just, if you guys want to change the color of your, of your name tag, basically. Um, so this is pretty, it's not important. Um, testimonials. If you guys really like our server, if you're enjoying it, if you're making money, if you're learning a lot, feel free to leave a testimonial. Again, you don't have to, um, it's not a big deal. Um, you know, we see all your guys' positive comments in premium chat and that's, that's more than enough. But if you're willing to, you know, write it. Write one down, we'll really appreciate it. So let's go to the trading alerts. So this is where, you know, the money is made, right? So the trading alerts is gonna be in this section, you know, Elkin alerts, Keon alerts, Kindred, chain, common stock, margin, 5K, small account, long swings. So Elkin, for the most part, you know, he does scalping, right? So they're, they're quick trades. Right, and we're gonna go over how to read these. You know, just kind of ignore it right now. This is just what the channel shows. So Elkin does, you know, mainly you know day trades, um, but he has been throwing in swings as well. My alerts are almost ninety nine percent swings. Right, um, you know, you can see DM thirty call for May. So this is a May expiration. So we're gonna be holding this for a good amount of time. Right. Um, but then again, if we, if we see a profits, you know, early, you know, there's no reason to not take them. Um, Kindred, same thing, you know, his, you know, his format is a bit different, but here, let me explain why. So he works with many other, um, discord servers. So the way for him to post his alerts to other servers, he has to use a bot. So he is a real person. Um, it's just, he uses a software to where that he can post his alerts in other people's servers. So, you know, he Kindred is a person. Um, Shane alerts, you know, his alerts are gonna be there. Common stock is trading outright shares. So not options, it's just shares. So we have that section. Margin trades, we're not gonna, you know, go deep into margin trades today. This is just, again, a beginner course. Margin trades is for people who have margin accounts who can play complex strategies. Um, like, you know, today, a butterfly call, um, but you're gonna need a margin account. So if you don't have a margin account, completely ignore this section. Now, with that being said, you can always play regular alerts, right? So this one right here, as a quick example, if a person doesn't have a margin account, they can play a 2000 call. Okay. It's probably gonna be a lot more expensive than this price, but you, f you can feel free and play it. Um, like a naked call or naked put, whatever. 5k challenge. Um, you know, as you can, as you notice, we haven't had many yet, but my goal is to, you know, grow, you know, a $5,000 account, maybe to 10,000, you know, 10,000 is my first goal, but they're going to be more consistent. Um, not as many alerts. And I will tell you guys exactly how many contracts I am going to get, um, for this um this alert channel small account is you know these are tough right you know the the premiums are going to be cheaper so the high the the chance of us uh you know hitting big isn't you know not as high but um they're great for smaller accounts we've actually been doing really well with our small account challenge obviously we hit the amc you know that was our biggest one i think we paid 99 cents for the premium and the high went over $25 and you know, you guys probably saw the profits and all that, but that again, that is not normal. That was, you know, uh, once in a lifetime trade. Um, but overall, you know, we've been doing really well with small account. So 
you know, be wary of this, uh, of this channel. You know, small accounts are good for the people who don't have, you know, a lot of money. Totally fine. Long swings is, you know, contracts that are going to be over six months. You know, maybe, yeah, minimum six months. So look for these as well if you guys are, you know, kind of too busy um, and you guys want, you know, leaps or just longer expiration swings. Um, that's the long swings channel. Any questions so far? Good. Okay. Question? No, 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 we're, no good. we're good. Okay, cool. All right. So paid chat, um, you know, the meat of the, the server, premium out of chat, talk about anything about stocks market economy whatever whatever in the in the finance world right stock stock market world um you know we don't care if there's you know some memes or gifts you know here and there it's not a big deal but if it gets overloaded um we're gonna have to you know slow it down a bit um but that's premium out chat spy thoughts anything about spy you know it's more organized if you guys just want to talk about spy or, or spx um give me one second uh, SPX, that's going to be the channel that you're going to be, uh, looking at watch list is the stocks that the admins are going to be focused on for the next day. You know, we'll give out a list of the main stocks that we're focused on. That doesn't necessarily mean that we're not looking at any others. We're just focusing on the ones that we post in the watch list more than the others that we will probably look at the next day. Key levels, uh, Elkin will post key levels. Uh, you know, if, if we can't look at, let's say square or whatever, you know, Elkin will put the key levels for square for that, for you guys. Um, so if you guys wanted to play square while we're looking for other plays, the, the key levels will be there for you. Um, so, you know, the, the major resistance support lines, pivot points, they're there for you. So he will post it in there. Owls alerts and watch lists. This is for you guys. Um, you guys, if you guys are entering a play on your own, you know, you can put in the owls alerts, you know, this, this section. And, you know, if you want to put out your watch list, right, what are you guys looking at for the next day? Um, you can check this out, right? You can post it and we can look at it as well. Um, so that's, that's for you guys. Owl profits for you guys to flex, you know, show your profits. If not, it's okay. Um, well, would be good is when you post your profits tag your ig your instagram um that way i can tag you guys when i post them on our social media um if, if you don't have to you don't want to but you know why not uh so send us your igs with your you know your profits picture and we'll you know we'll post you on our on our instagram and all that coffee break you know talk about anything non-stop related pretty self-explanatory introduce yourself now, if you really want to introduce yourself, go ahead. You know, what do you do outside of trading? What are your hobbies? You know, where are you located? I mean, you know, whatever you want, whatever you want to post. Owls Gaming, you know, we got a good amount of people who like to game. Um, so if you guys want to, you know, I don't know, ask for your guys' PS5 username, you know, you guys can always talk about games in there. Um, Diamond Hands channel. This, pro this channel will most likely be uh, gone Unless, you know, the people who are still in love with GME and AMC are going to, you know, keep the conversation up. But this is where they talk about their diamond handing AMC and all that. So that's that channel. Daily grind. Daily grind. So daily grind, long-term investment. We have a long-term investment channel. Um, what I like to do is, you know, I like to look at stocks to buy for my long-term investment. And with that being said, I am not forcing anyone to actually buy the stock or sell the stock because I do not have a license. I am giving my financial, my opinion on what stocks I am going to buy and when I am going to sell. But when I pick these stocks, I don't just say, Hey, I'm going to buy this, you know, for no reason. You know, I will look at their, you know, management team, their financials, even though today's market really doesn't, I mean, correlate to fundamental analysis, but I'll, I'll you know, I'll always take a look. 
Um, so I will post stocks in there that I think that's good for my um, long-term portfolio. And again, you know, I'm not telling anyone you have to buy it, you have to sell it. Uh, it's just there for you guys to show that I am adding these into my uh, account. Market outlook. Uh, every Sunday, this is posted. You know, a summary of how the market's going to look like, or you know, what, we, what we're going to expect. You know, either if it's a new stimulus package. You know, obviously COVID's still here. Um, you know how the economy is, um, economic calendar. You know all that. So I'll, I'll make a quick summary um, with some good information, um, and that that's posted every Sunday. Alice tip of the day is, you know, if something that, you know, comes up on the top of our head, you know, either Elkin and I or Shane, you know, we'll post it. We'll post in the Owl's tip uh, of the day. Um, you know, if, if someone, you know, keeps asking like one specific question, you know, they want a tip on that, you know, we'll put it in that section just so everyone can see it. Um, you know, like a lot of questions get about uh, capital gains tax. So we'll, you know, have a tip in that section for capital gains. Option sweeps. This is uh, coded from black box. So basically it shows where the money is going in contracts. And it's coming straight from black box. This is not a channel where you know you want to look at and make plays on it. It's not, you know, the alerts on the option sweeps will tell you, you know, four hundred thousand dollars worth of spike, you know, three eighty calls are coming in for today's expiration. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you want to go in and buy a spy 380 call just because that sweep came in. It's just good to know where the money is going, who's buying what, who's selling what. Um, so that's there for you guys. Um, it's like, you know, a tool in your back pocket. Breaking news. You know, these are automated Twitter, uh, Twitter bots that, you know, all the most, the most important news, um, from accounts that we think is most important. Uh, we want to be ahead. You know ahead of time of anything that happens in the market um and again if you guys are annoyed of it you guys can just right click and mute mute the channel that way you're not um getting bombarded with notifications um so these are automatic twitter posts from you know analysts um that regularly post um you know an update on the market Crypto is, you know, a section on crypto. Forever's interested in cryptocurrency. You guys can talk all you want about cryptocurrency. You know, that, that channel is pretty self-explanatory. Voice chat, as you guys know, you know, we're already in the, this is the voice chat. You know, we're online from 6.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. You know, maybe a little later if you're watching earnings or whatever. But I think this is a great, a great place to be if you guys, you know, obviously for the people who don't have work or whatever, we just want to, you know, be on voice um you know we discuss a lot right we talk about what's going on any specific plays that we're looking at um you know, any kind of any kind of discussion that will help um obviously if we're going to make an alert we're going to always post it you know we're not we don't make alerts just in voice right because that wouldn't be fair for the people who are not in the live trading section um but you know it's just, it's a cool it's a cool little thing that you know you kind of feel closer with the community member support. You know, if you guys have to deal with, you know, payments, um, any sort of non-stock related advice or whatever, um, well, let's just say merchandise return, any of that, you know, we can hop on voice and make sure you know, everything's sorted out. Broker. Okay. For some reason, my other slide did not post. Oh, oh, it's right here. Assistance in learning. Uh, any questions that you guys have that you think might get lost in the premium chat, you can always put in the questions tab. That way we can get back to you as fast as possible. Um, and again, any other any other member could you know answer the question. Doesn't have to be from the admin. Um, you know, just make sure it's it's pretty accurate. Basics. You know, these are some basic information that we post. Um, you know, for the people who just want to learn the basics of some things. TOS scanners for the people who have thinkorswim, you know, we have specific scanners that you guys can download, um, you know, bullish scanners, bearish scan scanners, uh, moving average crossover scanners, um, you know, they're there for you. TD Ameritrade sign up. So we're going to go over this, um, you know, a little later today. 
So I have instructions on how to sign up for a cash account and I'm going to go over what a cash account hit is in the next slide. Um, so the instructions are there. If anyone wants to switch to TOS, uh, I don't, I don't get a referral or anything, you know, a bonus or whatever. I don't care about that. Um, and plus the referral system sucks anyway. So, uh, you know, I'm not trying to make money off you guys on this. It's for you guys to have. Um, stock AI, you know, this section is pretty cool. You can, you know, put a little code in for your stock. Um, you know, you do exclamation point, your ticker, and it will give you, you know, either key levels right away, a chart right away. Um, you know, any other information about the stock. So that's pretty cool. Videos, you know, you guys can post in here too. Any videos that you think is important for trading or the economy or terminology, um, you know, feel free to post videos that you think is important. Class recap um, and watch list sessions. These are, you know, classes that, you know, that are recorded and we post them in this section for people who missed it. Books, you know, I think our favorite books that we've read for investing, trading, um, you know, psychology of trading, etc. If you guys enjoyed, you know, some trading books, you guys could definitely um, post your books in there as well. And the free section doesn't really apply to you guys. So, you know, obviously with everything that's going on, um, what broker should you use and type of account? Um, this is not in order from one to three, whatever you guys are comfortable with. Um, you know, that's fine. I personally recommend TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim just because the platform is so professional. And once you get it down, you feel like a real trader. I'm sure you do with Webull and Fidelity E-Trade Interactive um, Trading View. I've just been using TD Ameritrade for the longest time. And I think it's, it's one of the most powerful systems. Um, and Robinhood. For the people who are Robinhood, if it works for you, great. You know, that's your choice for not leaving. I just want to warn you when the market is volatile and has a high volume, sometimes your contracts don't get filled at the price you want or the servers go down. So, and obviously we know what happened with Robin Hood this past couple of weeks, a lot of problems. Um, but I'm not saying you guys should leave Robin Hood. I just don't, I, I stay away from it. So now we had a question earlier, you know, for the people who can't day trade. Well, there is, we can't day trade without 25,000, right? You can, if you sign up for a cash account on TD Ameritrade, you can day trade as many times you want that day, even if you don't have $25,000. So let's say you have a thousand dollars of funds and you have a cash account. You can trade as many times as you want that day by or sell until your funds are out for that day. When you use that $1,000, whatever you make or lose, those funds will be cleared the next day. Okay. So let's say I spent a thousand dollars. I made a hundred, right? And I'm done for today. Okay. I will still have 900 and I spent a hundred. So I have a thousand dollars. I spent a hundred dollars on a contract. Okay. I made a hundred. Okay. So I have 1100. I will still have 900 left to spend. Okay, it's cash, right? You give the cash. You don't get that until the next day. So that's a huge advantage for people who are worried about um, the pattern day trading. Um, and then there's margin account. Margin, if you do, if you don't have um, you know 25,000 or above, you are restricted to PDT. Um, and margin gets a little, you know, a little bit crazy, um, unless you're not buying stock on margin margin account is great for verticals, butterflies, complex strategies. Um, and if you're not using margin to buy stock, this is the account that you sh you should probably have. Um, let me see what else, but cash account. So we have the instructions in the teal in the. TD Ameritrade sign up. And again, you can trade as many times as you want that day until your funds run out. 
Uh, any questions so far on that? Hey, I have a quick question. Sure. Um, so if I do the transfer over from Robinhood to POS, which I did download, um, what happens to the, I have one open contract on with Robinhood. Does that stay open or do they close it and before the transfer or? Yeah, I think, I think what you should probably do is, you know, whenever you're comfortable with closing that contract, um, you know, close it and Robinhood actually has a $75 transfer fee to TD Ameritrade or whatever broker. What I kind of tell people is once your contracts are, you know, sold and your stocks or whatever, um, I would just withdraw it, put it in your bank, then from your bank, go to TD Ameritrade. Unless you're willing to pay the $75 fee and they can just literally move everything to TD Ameritrade. Gotcha. Okay, mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Yep, of course. Uh, I'm not exactly sure about E-Trade. I am not comfortable with Fidelity, E-Trade, or Interactive Brokers. I'm only comfortable with, well, I used to be comfortable with Robinhood, and, but now it's just TD Ameritrade. But um, that's a good question, though. Tron, you have a question? No. no. Okay. All right. So... For the people who have Think or Swim, um, if you guys can pull out, so the ones who don't know how to trade on your app, on the Think or Swim app, if you guys can pull up your your phone app on TOS, I'm gonna show you how to execute an order. Because um, obviously I can't screen share my phone, but I took screenshots on how to make an alert. So. If you guys can just comment in the messages saying I'm ready with your app open, um, and then we can go from there. So let me know when you guys want me to start showing the, the, the app. I mean, I can show it now if you guys want me to, it doesn't matter. Hey, if you, um, is, there, is there a chat box we can type that in? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just type, just type in premium out chat. Just say, you know, you have your app open and ready to go. I just want to make sure you guys are ready with your app. So, is uh, Thinkorswim? That's like a another another brokerage account, right? Okay, so Thinkorswim is the trading platform from TD Ameritrade. So think of TD Ameritrade as your bank basically where you fund your account thinkorswim is your trading account where you execute trades options or whatever now you can trade on td ameritrade but it's a lot more complicated so thinkorswim is just your trading platform got it okay mm -hmm. okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna go through it seems like you guys are mostly ready um, so when you open up the app, it's going to look like this, right? So it's going to be a watch list, um, you know, whatever stocks you have on the phone, um, it will show up right here, right? So if we go back to my alert, it was a DM 30 call. We're going to go quick quote, right? We're going to type in DM, right? So we're going to find DM and this will pop up. How can I open that? Thing? Uh, it's a phone app. So TOS phone. I don't, I don't know if it's if you have an iPhone or uh, Android. It should look similar, I believe. So I'll make sure you got it. Okay, that, that you're trying to make an account. Let me. I I will uh, help you. I'll I'll help you later. Let me let me uh, get through this part. This is a whole other uh, step. Um. So, you type in the stock. You know, let's DM right. This will pop up. Okay. This is DM. The price chart. 
news options. Okay, so this is gonna be your main focus options. If you want to buy stock, if you just want to buy stock, you click trade. Okay, so the trade will come up. All right. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna click options, right? This will pop up. Okay, you see where it shows the strikes, or I'm sorry, the the expiration dates. So we're gonna find the right expiration date. So that alert was May 21st, 2021. So we're gonna click on this one, right? So once we click that, this expands to the strikes. So the strike prices are on the middle, the calls are on the left side, the puts are on the right side, okay? And this is your bid, this is your ask, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the 30 strike, right, from our alert. So here's the 30 strike and we got a call. So the call is on the left side. So you find, you know, these are the premiums. The bid is at 390, the asset at four. You always wanna try to get the lowest price. So you wanna try to fill it at 390, okay? So once you click this, this screen is gonna pop up, okay? Buy, sell always buy on limit never use market okay remember that market you will always pay for the highest price okay they're literally selling it to you at market price ne don't even bother going moving it to market okay so limit now you can always adjust this you know you can try getting it filled at 390 um if it doesn't get filled you know if you're it's 10 bucks more you know it's not a big deal plus expiration is so far out this will be your premium right so where it says four the cost is it tells you right here cost of trade four hundred dollars tos is 65 cents for buy and 65 cents for sell that's their commission for options with stock it's free no commission okay this will pop up you know it'll show your buying power effect um you know all your all your financials right it will show your your account um, how much money you have left, etc. Once that order is ready, you know, you have your, your play, you click send and it will confirm. Okay. And that, that, that's it. That is it. Now let's say you want to sell. Okay. I'm, I don't know why I didn't post a screenshot of how to sell, but I'm just going to manually do it. It's the same thing. You're going to find your position, right? You can go to positions on the bottom, second tab. And it's going to show your orders. I really wish I screenshot this. I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. Um, this will pop up and you're going to click sell. And this should be minus one, right? Oh, I'm sorry, one. It should just be one. So sell one, same thing, confirm. It will show the same exact thing, except it's going to say sell. Send, it goes through. You guys got that? Let me repeat, repeat it again. Any questions? That's the buy options, correct? But how about if you're just trying to buy stocks with TOS? Yeah. Good question. So stock. So you see how, okay. So you search up the stock, right? It pops up. You see where it says trade. When you click this trade button, that's specifically just for stock. Got it. Okay. Got mm -hmm. it. Hey, I have a question. Have a question. And sure. it, you, you may address, address it later. later. Um, yeah, it but if I wanted to put some type of like stop loss on the option, what does that look like? Good question. Good question. And again, I, I apologize for not screenshotting it. What you're going to do is you're going to move this tab to sell. And then you're going to click this arrow and it's going to say stop. Okay. So if you're on your phone right now, you're going to click sell. You're going to move this arrow to stop. Now another tab is going to come out and it's going to show what premium you want it to stop at. Okay. You're going to move that premium and you're going to confirm. And so your stop is going to be working, right? It's not going to get filled because it didn't hit your premium, your stop loss. So again, you're going to click sell. You're going to change limit to stop. You're going to click this arrow. You're going to change the premium of what you're willing to lose. Okay, so let's say it's at four and I'm willing to lose, you know, $200. I'm going to change the premium to $2. So 
So if that premium hits $2, it's going to automatically sell your position. And that's after, after you purchase, purchase the option, option correct? correct? You can't, is, you, yep. you can't do it before you purchase the option. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, of course. Okay, so how do we read the alerts? Now, this is very simple. I'm, ma I'm going to, you know, make this very simple because I know we're not going to get too granular because it gets very complicated. We always teach that in the next class, um, but we're just going to keep it simple for today. Um, you know, how to read alerts. So a call is basically you are betting that the stock is going to go up. Okay. A put is that you're betting that the stock is going to go down. Okay. A premium is how much you are paying per contract. The strike price is where you ideally want the stock to go. Okay. It gets more complicated, that, but we're going to stick to the easy you know, definition for now. A stop loss is the amount you are willing to lose, either percentage or dollar. You know, having good risk management, we're going to cover that. Um, you know, 30% is ideal or, you know, whatever trade you get in, you know, you tell yourself, I'm willing to lose this amount. So that's your stop loss. You're, you're going to switch, you know, you're going to change your stop loss to X amount and go from there. A lot of common terminology that we hear in the chat, um, alerts etc a scalp is a quick day trade a swing is holding a stock for more than a day tp is take profits bp is buying power hold you know obviously you're holding the stock for longer long means holding the stock for a long period of time or option for the long run you know you kind of hear we're long on this stock we're long on apple that means we're willing to hold apple for a long time short bearish on the stock thinking that it will go down a gap an empty space where there is no contract or shares traded again a call an option trade that bets on the stock to go up a put an option that bets on the stock to go down er earnings report you know obviously you hear a lot about earnings hod high of day lod low of day lowest price of the day fomo Fear of missing out. Zero DTE is zero days until expiration. BTO is buy to order. STO sell to order. Just a fancy way of saying I'm buying this contract. I'm selling this contract. So now we're going to get into, you know what? Maybe this one. Let's, since we're going to be, this is going to take way too long. We're going to do this in the next class. Um, let's do this actually, I'll just, you know, run through what I do personally, um, before the trading day, um, just to have, you know, if you guys want to kind of follow my lead, you know, have a good routine, I wake up and I always stretch. I'm a, I'm a coffee addict. I, I, I need my coffee, um, with a protein bar, always check futures. You know, this is, you know, these are the futures that you should check slash ES slash NQ. I turn CNBC, you know, I do my best not to be, you know, listening to any political stuff. It's just CNBC is just good to, it's kind of entertaining as well to listen how the market is and what stocks are looking at. Um, so CNBC is the, the choice I watch. I like BBC as well. Um, that's a good channel to watch. Um, always look for economic reports, you know, job reports, unemployment rates. You know, those definitely have an impact on the market. Um, any analyst ratings, downgrades, upgrades, holds, you know, these have an effect on the stocks that you're holding, options that you're holding, etc. I review any open positions and make any necessary adjustments. So I don't just wake up, um, look at my phone and say, okay, well, let's hope that my contracts are going to go up. You know, I will look at the stock pre-market, make sure that everything's okay, depending on the expiration I have, etc. Um, you know, looking at any upcoming news that may be coming out, uh, either for that company or, you know, any, any, any sort of news that could affect the market, look over key levels and that's it. Then we just start trading risk management and trade size. This is one of the most important things as a trader is having risk management. 
um, you know, why consistent trading is key. You don't want to risk more on a next trade and suddenly lose a dollar value larger than you're used to. Okay. You're going to start freaking out. You're going to start chasing to make up for that loss. Losing is, is part of the game. You know, you're going to lose on trades, right? No one is perfect. Okay. It should not affect you on your next trade. If you're trading at a success rate of 85%, more chances than not, you're probably winning. The next trade is pretty high, right? So, you know, with our performance, you know, we have an 85 to 89%, you know, win rate. So your chances are high. Um, you got to maintain discipline, take out profits, and don't stray away from your trading size, discipline and risk management. So don't get fat headed, overconfident with profits and go in risking more and more on your next trades. You know, this sets up for disaster eventually when you do lose. So some people will make, you know, let's say $800 on a trade that they worked pretty hard for. And they say, okay, well, I have $800. I can afford a Tesla call. And we always, we know what happens with Tesla. And that it usually doesn't go your way. And if you do, that's great. But people will spend that $800 on a Tesla call and the next morning it's down 80%. So all that work you did with that previous trade, you just lost 80% of your cash that you made. So don't get overconfident when you hit big or even when you have a consistent profits, don't go crazy with it. Okay. I think that's one of the most important things. You know, another thing is, just take a breather when you overreact. Take a loss, you know, you feel emotions are rising from. Trading and thinking with a cool mind and heart is the only way to be trading. Relax. Everyone just relax. Don't overtrade. Take a step back and relax until you're back up and running properly. Emotions and mentally unstable moments lead to mistakes. It happens to all of us, right? You know, we get pissed at a trade, didn't go our way, and we're going to play the other side of it, right? We're going to buy puts instead of calls and hopefully get the money back. We'll end up losing. So don't let winning, losing affect your mentality when trading. Keep it consistent, steady, stable, and level-minded. There's such things as trader overconfidence in which you've been winning so often. You go big in the next trade and you finally lose. And this time you lose a big one. Don't let that be you. This as well as a lack of confidence. Don't let a loss take you over from making the next trade. Follow a st strict strategy in the long run. I promise you it will work. Um, you know, at the end of the week, your week doesn't want to sound like this. You make 300 on Monday, you lose 500 on Tuesday, you make 200 on Wednesday, you make 100 Thursday and you lose 700 on Friday, right? I mean, all that work, you didn't even make money. You know, maybe that one day you made money. That was two days you made money, but your losses were more than your winners, right? So don't let that happen. Don't get overconfident because you won on Monday and you think you could do the same on Tuesday. Um, you know, keep it consistent, right? You don't want your you don't want your uh, P and L for the year looking like a you know a crazy mountain, right? You want it a consistent like hill, smooth hill up. What separates good trades from bad traders is just risk management. Again, you know, you've probably heard the statistic that 90% of day trades will fail to make money. These failures are the result of trading with a lack of education and an inability to manage risk. These are avoidable failures. In my opinion, it is very important for us to dig into the causes of failure so we can learn to avoid these common mistakes. Success is not about being right hundred percent of the time. In reality, it's about learning to cut your losses when you're wrong. Imagine if all your losses were only $10, but your winners were 90. You wouldn't need to be right that often to cover your losses. In fact, you were right just 10% of the time. You'd break even before commissions. And sometimes, put this in your head, sometimes the best trade is no trade. So when the market is not moving or when it's choppy, you can honestly take that day off. There's no reason to just be in a trade because you want that adrenaline and you're, you're telling yourself, oh, I'm in a trade. I'm going to make money on this. It's always great to take the day off and save 
your mental capacity and money for the next day. Obviously, the executives are going to be looking for trades every day. And hopefully we can pull out a couple each day. But again, there might be a day where we say we honestly do not like anything. The setups do not look good. The volume is not good. Um, and we might not trade that day. Very rare. But for you guys, if you guys don't feel like trading, there's no reason to be in a trade. So my rule is when I trade, I never revenge trade. I do not want to double down or add to a losing position or show the market that it is wrong. You don't need to justify your logic or research. Accept the fact that the market and price action is always right. Okay. Never take a trade just because you're bored. Go play with your dog. Go to the gym if they're open. Watch a movie, etc. Never lose more than 2% of your portfolio on any trade. This actually kind of, it depends. You know, some people have different sizes. This is just a general rule. Um, so, you know, put your own number in this statement. Never buy or sell with a market order unless it is a butterfly and the bid ask is too much and there is risk of assignment. Okay, that's, that's for the people who do butterflies. Um, reconcile on a weekly basis and analyze your winners and losers. Try to replicate the winners and reduce the losers and try not to repeat the same mistake. Keep it simple. Do not complicate. It's always good to take profits. Okay. Even if you think you have a lot of time, even if you think you're going to make a lot more. Take what the market gives you or it will take it right back from you. Okay. So put that in your head as well. If you see profits and you're happy with it, take it because the market is going to take it right back from you. Okay. And another, you know, tip that I can give you guys, you know, I see a lot of the people buying these, you know, terrible stocks, penny stocks that literally have no idea what they're doing. You'd rather buy one share of Amazon at $3,000 than buy 1,000 shares of some junk company at $3. Okay. That's always good to have in your head. All right. So before I move on to show a quick, um, tutorial on think or swim any questions so far Kian, uh sorry i know this might be a little advanced for this class but can you just give us a generalization of what a butterfly trade is a butterfly yeah um again butter yeah i'll make it quick because we're going to be just focusing on the basics because this gets very complicated a butterfly in simple terms is first of all you need a margin account because you need leverage, you're buying. So if you're doing a butterfly call, you're buying a call, you're selling two calls and you're buying another call. Okay. You're selling premium, not selling a contract. Um, I will go over this. I have actually, we have a video on margin trades from our previous class. If you guys want to check that out. Um, but just for time's sake, um, that's the, you know, a short definition. A butterfly is good for, you know, minimizing your cost. Um, you know, because obviously if you play like a naked Amazon call, it's going to cost you like $5,000, $6,000. But if you play a butterfly, it only costs you $4. Um, but there's limits, right? So butterfly, depending on what type of butterfly it is, um, there's a max, a max amount of profit taking up a hundred percent. If it's a broken butterfly, which I'm not even going to get into right now. Um, there's no upside risk. So butterflies you need margin for. I had a question as well um, sure. about thinkorswim and how you use it. You prefer Wait, sorry. using the mobile app on your phone or trading on your, on your computer? computer? So I'm since I'm very comfortable with the desktop, I I trade everything on my computer. Um, but I like to see my positions on my phone only because. It has a nice color. I mean, it shows your green or red. You know, the the monitor tab on TOS desktop is just gray. And it's boring and it's depressing and I hate looking at it. So the only time I use the mobile app is just to look at my contracts. Um, but as far as trading, executing orders, all that, um, I do it through my desktop. Okay, cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Any other questions before I move on? Good. Okay, so let me switch my screen. Change windows. Okay. Let me know if you guys can see my screen. Yep. Okay, perfect. And then let me make sure the stream is seeing this. Okay, so here is the Think or Swim platform. All right, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. So there is going to be tabs here, right? So there's going to be a watch list. So, you know, you can add as many watches as you want, but you're going to have your account info, you know, how much day trading buying power you have, net liquidity and day trades, option buying power, et cetera. Um, so let's just say you have a brand new account. Okay. So it's just going to show up account info. The first thing you want to add is a watch list. Okay. So you're going to click this plus sign. You're going to click watch list. Obviously it's going to be new, right? Yours is going to be new and you can pick all the stocks that you want to see on your watch list, right? You can type in as many as you want. The cool thing about TOS is that let's say you just want to look through just biotech stocks. Okay. So what you're going to do, you're going to click default or whatever the name is. Okay. You're going to go by industry and it's going to show you the industries, right? So biotech is what? Healthcare, biotechnology, and this is your watch list for biotech stocks. Okay. So let's say you have your watch list section. What you can also do is what I like to have is Trader TV. You can watch CNBC while you're, while you're trading straight from Thinkorswim. Okay, so this is a cool a cool thing to have, right? Now again, you can always have as many watch lists as you want. So let's say you have biotechnology. You can add another watch list for you know whatever, right? construction materials. So you have a watch list for construction, you have a watch list for biotechnology. Um, so all you do, you click the plus sign, they got everything. They have your account info, they have a calculator, chart describer, you know, anything that you, that, that you need um, is here. Let me mute. So here's that section and then what you can do if you don't you want to delete some things, you click the settings button, um, you just click the X. Let me just delete this, let me just delete this just to make it simple. So you see this arrow right here, you know, you can just click the arrow and you can, you know, have your graph, your chart out, you know, full screen. Um, so going from right, left to right monitor okay that's all my trades um this is actually cool so for this account what you can do is activity and positions so this is going to show your positions your filled orders your canceled orders rolling strategies i don't necessarily use unless i want to roll out my positions to a longer um expiration now there's something cool that you can do okay you can actually make categories for your options and for your stocks, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to click this arrow. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Give me a second. Give me a second. Why is this not here? Okay. So what you're going to do, you're going to click this button on the far right, show actions menu. You're going to click add group, right? You're going to add a group name um owls let's just say owls options so owls options is going to be here obviously we have nothing in here but let's say you know i can go to one of my stocks tesla move to group owls options and here it is right so here is whatever category you want to put it in okay so that's a cool thing you can keep your options organized you can keep your Stocks organize um, however you like it. I'm going to just do this later. Okay. So there's that. Um, account statement. This will show all your orders. 
Yeah, you guys can run through you know all your orders if you want. Um, you can type it by symbol as well. Um, you know, if you just want to see how many trades of Tesla you've made or whatever, um, you can do that. FX report, I do not do. I don't use strategy roller, I do not use. Trade is where you make your trades. Okay, so. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, thank you. Um, so this is the where you make your trades on desktop, right? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna type your, you know, your ticker. Here are the expirations, right? And let's say you want to get a Tesla February fifth call. You're gonna find the February fifth. Okay, you're gonna click the arrow. Again, it's very similar to the phone. The strikes are in the middle. The calls are on the left side. The puts are on the right side. Okay. You can add these as well. You can add the delta. These are Greeks. And we're going to get that. We're going to get to that uh, in another class. So you add the delta, theta, implied volatility, net change, open interest, probability that it will go in the money, bid and ask. Okay. So you can always set that up. Um, I believe, man, I haven't done this in so long. I'm kind of just, oh, oh, oh right, here, right here, layout, do a click layout and you can just add, um, whatever you want. Okay. So let's say you're on desktop and you're, you're going to get an order. Okay. So let's say we want an 890 call for Tesla. So 890 is a strike. We're going to look for the bid the ask. We're going to right click. We're going to click buy, we're going to click sell. Okay. This will pop up. You're not going to pay the highest. Okay. You're going to try to get the lowest price. And if it can't fill, you know, you can slowly move it up. You're going to click send. This will pop up and your order will go through. So let's say you have an order, you have an order in, it's going to show your position down here. If you're on the same ticker, right? Your positions are going to show right here. Okay. Another way is go to monitor activity and positions, and it will show in, you know, the tab that you, uh, you know, put your options in or your stocks in. So you just go back to the monitor tab. Um, so that's how you make a position on TOS. Any questions so far? If I go on to the next tabs. You guys good? Sounds like you guys are good. Um, another thing that you guys can look at actually, that's pretty helpful is on the very right side. This is the implied volatility of the stock for this week. This is over under if the stock is going to move up or, or down. For this week so tesla has a 41 point move over under okay so tesla has an expected move of 41 points right so this is good information to have um you know if you're looking at other contracts uh, this will show the open the high the low the volume for this day i complete i completely ignore this um what they're asking for 87870 the bid 878 this is how much the stock has moved to the day and the last price for, for the stock, you know, for example, Tesla was at 872.79. Um, I don't use Forex. You guys, whoever you trades Forex, you guys can trade Forex on TOS. I think if you're applied for it, I don't trade futures either. Um, active trader. I don't really use active trader too much. Um, if I'm trading small, small cap stocks are like, you know, there are common stock trades. I will use this where you can easily just click, you know, 1000 shares by market and it'll buy. Um, definitely don't want to do that right now. Um, but this is a very easy way to, you know, buy a certain amount of shares quickly. Um, so that's active trader pairs trader. I did believe this is for future. Actually, you can just do multiple stocks on this. I don't, I don't use this. Um, this is not something I use. 
um, analyze. This is a good um, tab because it shows, you know, the earn for this tab, we're looking at earnings. So you can see, let's, you know, for example, net, you know, so quarter three of 2020 net beat their uh, expectations and earnings. So what did, how did they do after? Well, they kind of consolidated. They didn't move much. So you can kind of get a good idea of how the stock moved, um, you know, through earnings. Fundamentals is for people who really like to analyze financial statements, um, you know, companies for certain companies. So type in your ticker, you look at fundamentals and they have all the information for you, you know, earnings per share, return on equity, you know, I mean, they got company details. It's got everything. This is a great place, um, for information, right? So, you know, if you're honestly, if you're a finance major in college, this is what I use for my sources sometimes. And it was great. Um, think back. I don't, I don't actually use this. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't, I don't use this. I'm not too comfortable with this. So I'm not going to teach you guys something that I don't, um, I don't use. So I'm going to leave that to you guys. I don't want to give you guys uh, wrong information. Um, economic data, you know, for example, this is deposits, large domestically chartered commercial banks, you know, weekly bill. I don't really use this as much, but it's there for you guys. Probability analysis. This shows the probability of the contracts that you're in. Um, you can see what your probability is. You know, let's just say above 965, they're giving Tesla a 6% chance by February 5th. Okay. So below 790, they're saying it's a 5% chance. So you can check this. Um, you know, you, you can check this tab and see what your probability is for your contracts or stock risk profile. This is more for margins, uh, margin trades, um, or, or options in general, right? You know, you can see what your risk profile is, you know, what, where do I need the stock to be to, you know, ma start making money or where do I need to be for my butterfly to be max profits? So this is where you would check that, um, simulated trade. I don't do this. I don't know what simulated trade. I don't know. Yeah, I don't do simulated trade. Scan. Uh, these are scanners that you can use. Um, you know, if you guys like, you know, high volume, you know, unusual volume. Um, there's a scanner where you can have unusual volume. It'll give you notification. So this is fully, you know, customizable. You just play around with it, and you know, you use whatever is comfortable with you, uh, whatever you like, um, and just, you know, just play around with it. Um, same with option hacker, spread hacker. I don't really use, um, these, I don't, I don't use at all. Market watch is just a lot of, you know, you can just analyze your, uh, positions, um, alerts. So these are alerts that, um, you know, so for this scan, I have, you know, the 10 cross the 20, the 20 cross the 50 and the TTM squeeze is fired. Um, these are just alerts that I've triggered today. So these are, you know, if, if you have, um, price alerts, you know, if, if, uh, Tesla went above a 80, it will give you an alert and it will show here as well. Visualize. This is the whole market, right? You know, either it's called a heat map. So it's showing, you know, the stocks that were green, the stocks that are red, as you can see today, for the most part, we were green. Obviously there's some that were read today, but this will give you the heat map of the market financing rates. I don't use at all calendar. Um, this shows any, you know, dividends, earnings, conference calls, um, you know, futures liquidation, all that kind of stuff. So this is very helpful as well. Charts. Obviously this is where you do the charts. Um, you know, I don't want to take, people's too much time from you guys. I think I'm going to have a separate class on, you know, how to chart. Um, and Elkin is actually going to go through that as well. Um, next week, uh, or maybe we can figure out something. We can do some a, a mini class later this week. Um, uh, but this is your chart, you know, where you can play around with it. Your settings are all here. Um, your time frames, your candle styles, 
drawings, you know, however, whatever you want to draw, you know, you can actually have text, you know, you can, you know, write something like a note, um, you know, automatic lines, um, all that. So you can just play around with that. Um, studies, studies tab is where you, you know, add all your studies, right? So you click edit studies. I don't think it's popping up for you guys. A tab will come up and you can just add your studies. Um, patterns I don't really use. Um, right here, this box is where you can add multiple charts. So let's say I want to have, you know, four charts up. I will make four boxes. And you see I can, you know, just do recent, you know, whatever arc. I don't know why I, my thinker sim is being very slow. Um, but you know, you can have as many charts as you want. You can literally have, you know, what is that? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have 32 charts open if you want. So, you know, that's, that's another cool feature. Um, tools, you know, this will show your alerts as well. Um, alert on BGS from Mark at or above 20, uh, 27. Uh, you know, these are the notes that you've made on your charts. Um, so it will all be saved here. Oh, this is an old alert. Um, but yeah, you know, these will just be all your alerts that you posted. Um, videos, you know, I guess highlights from CNBC. Um, Thinkorswim has their own videos. Um, you, know, you can just click all these. Shared items, you know, if we, if we sharing uh, scanners. Indicators, you know, if you click the, if you share the link, it'll be here. Education. TOS is a great educational platform, um, technical analysis, um, getting started, earnings. Um, they got everything for you. So let's, you know, if you click technical analysis, you know, they're going to show, you know, the types of drawings, right? These you should take advantage of. I mean, it's hundred percent free, you know, rather than watching some YouTube videos, um, it's kind of confusing to learn this. They make it very simple. Um, so the tech, the education tab is very useful. Help, you know, obviously if you guys need help, I don't use this tab for help. I just go to support and then we would just type um, your question and they would respond, you know, in a matter of time. Uh, last feature for thinkorswim. Well, actually I want to make sure that you guys should always be on real time data, you know, make sure you guys are on real time data. If not, you're going to have to call, call them or contact them and tell them that you want to be on real time. Last feature is on demand, which is paper trading. So paper trading is you're playing with fake money, right? It's a virtual account. Now they do start to give you, um, I think it's 200,000. You know, obviously it's fake. Um, okay, I don't know what this. Yeah, so they give you, um, you know, a certain amount of money and it replicates what happened that day in the market. So it's showing September 14th live, right? So Tesla was at 406. Okay, so you can practice your strategies. Um, you can play options if you want. And obviously right now, I don't think it's, I don't know why it's not working. Okay, it is. So it will simulate the option contracts as well, just like how it did on that day. Okay. So you can practice, you can literally practice on how to chart, how to create, you know, alerts, um, for yourself, um, and just trade. So this is a really cool feature. If you guys are bored at home after hours or on the, the weekend, um, and you guys want to practice trading, click on demand and you can paper trade. Um, that is it. Um, any questions? Yeah, I got one question. Sure. I, just, I was going to ask while you're on Thinkorswim, would you possibly be able to like kind of demo quickly how to buy and sell an option? On yeah. Paper or anything? Like if you could just like, like yeah, yeah. I, think I know how to buy it, but I still am not sure how to like view your current positions and then how to sell them. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Let, let's do that. Let's do that. Let me. Thank you. So. Let's say, you know, Tesla looks good, blah, 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 right? We're going to enter a trade, okay? We're going to go to the trade tab, right? These are your expiration dates, okay? This is, how, you know, whatever expiration you're going into. So let's say 
we're going to enter a Tesla 450 call for September 25th. Okay, so we're going to go for a Tesla, right? September 25th. Remember, the strikes are in the middle. We're going to find 450. Okay, so 450, right? Here is the bid and here is the ask. So we found it. We're going to right click and we're going to click buy and single. So this is your order, right? This is your order. Now the premiums with Tesla obviously move a lot. So you're just going to, you know, play around with it, right? You're going to try to get the lowest price. So I'm going to try to go 2110, confirm and send. You see, okay, so do you hear that, right? That means your order went through. My order is through and my position is right here. Okay, the 450 call for September 25th. This is where I, this is where my order is at. You can keep track. Now let's say you don't want to look at this anymore. You can go back to monitor, right? Activity and positions. Tesla. Your 450 call is right here. Okay, so right now we are down $22. And your trade price was at 2110. Right now it's showing 20.95. We have 11 days until expiration. I bought one. Okay. So this is where it will show your position. Does that make sense? You want me to do another one? Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Thank you. Of course. And then would, would you pause for that? Be great. Say that again. Colin, I think. You, or... you could do another. If yeah, you of course. To do Absolutely. Said, if you could, that'd be awesome. Sure. Sure. Okay, so let's say we're gonna, you know, we're gonna play Apple, okay? Apple 114, it looks good. Um, and we wanna buy, you know, an Apple 120 call. Okay, for September 25th. So Apple, we're gonna find, so again, it's gonna show up like this. So Apple 120 call for September 25th, the strikes, are in the middle, right? So 120, here is the premiums for the calls, 151, 153. We're gonna right click and we're gonna click buy, okay? We're gonna click single, right? Cause it's just, just a call. If you wanna buy more, you could just click the plus or minus sign, okay? And you're gonna, you know, try to find the lowest price Okay, so one, I mean, a dollar move is not going to do anything, but you know, we'll still want to get the lowest. So dollar fifty-two. Now I move one dollar fifty-three. Confirm and send. We're going to click send. Now, let's say we have the order, okay? And let's say we're, you know, we want to close it now. We're still in the trade tab, and we're still on the Apple, right? You see where it says position. All you need to do, if you wanted to close it, you right click. Create closing order, sell four or however many you want. So we bought four. Okay. So let's say I want to sell two. Okay. I want to sell two at 154. Okay. Actually, if I'm selling, I want the highest. Right here shows you what Apple technically needs to be at for me to fill that order. Okay. So here's the bid ask $1.55. We're going to sell two. We're going to confirm and send, send, but you see how it's not selling. So what we're going to do, we're going to right click, sell, cancel slash replace. And we're going to have to move the premium because it's not accepting the dollar 55. We're going to try it again, confirm and send. It's still not filling. Okay. So we're just going to keep on trying. And worst case, we have to, you know, go out the bid. Okay. And it will, and it fill uh, real quick. Mm -hmm. Do you want to fill in the difference between the limit and the market? Yeah. Or even I, the trail, which I use my favorite. That's my favorite one. Absolutely. I, I don't use trail for buying. I just do. I make it easy on myself and just do limit. Um, not, say, not saying that trail is uh, bad or anything. I just don't. I'm not comfortable in it. And if, if Elkin's more comfortable, he can probably go through the trailing orders. 
Um, but the difference between market, you know, I'll show you. So let's say we're going to buy a 117 and a half call, right? Buy. And we change limit to market. I'm going to be paying. You see how it fills that fast? I didn't even have to move the premium, but I'm automatically paying the highest price. That's market. Okay. It didn't give me a chance to move around the premium. I want to always pay for the lowest premium. Okay. That's market. I always want limit. If I want to buy the 117 and a half call, I'm going to switch this to limit, try to get the lowest price, confirm and send. Now let's say we have an open position, right? Create closing order, $1.50. Now I want to have a stop. We're going to change the order to a stop. We're going to change the premium to however much I'm willing to lose. Okay. So let's say I'm willing to lose this much. I want, if the premium goes to 0.97, you know, we'll go there. Okay. So it will stop if it hits 0.97. We go to, so we go here, right? Cancel replace if you want to move it up or down. But if it hits this premium, it will stop at this premium. Does that make sense? And then let's say you, you don't want to stop anymore. Right click, cancel order, and you don't have a stop. And then again, you want to sell your position, right click, create closing order. You can sell, right? So you're trying to sell at the highest, but dollar is not going to make a difference. Confirm, send, your order is filled. And then if you don't want to sell from here, you can always go back to monitor. You can just right click here or you know bring down to the you know the menu um actually i don't think this is an open position but let's just say this one is okay so you know if you're just in the monitor section you want to close a position instead of the trade tab right click create closing order so it will automatically come to this position you know we're going to try to fill at the highest price you know but it says you know tesla needs to be at 402 87 for me to fill it so let's just say I'll do in the middle. So, so that's that. Questions, concerns? Uh, can, you uh, can you show an, show example, an example of a put play? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay, so let's just do, let's do, uh, that's just crazy. So Apple, let's say we want to get like a 110 put. Okay. So September 25th, remember the puts are on the right side. We want to get a 110 put. So we're going to do the same thing. So it's on the right side this time. We're going to right click, buy, single, make sure it's a put, right? Premium, we want to try to get the lowest price. Confirm and send, send. It's a, it works the same exact way as a call. Right, it's just on the right side. So your overall goal is for the stock to go down and your premium to go up. And then again, you can do the same thing. Create closing order. You can sell your put. Let's say you put the highest price. It doesn't fill. Cancel. Replace. Two hundred two. That's how you sell it. Uh, quick question. Sure. Can stop losses be automatically set or do they have to be manually? Uh, manually. Manually. Yeah. So, so let's say we're going here, right? You know, we have a position here. We want to set a stop loss. We would still say create closing order, right? But we want to make sure the limit is changed to stop. Okay, and let's say I'm willing to lose $30 or $31. So my premium is going to be at two. I'm going to confirm and send. My stop will be at $2 premium. So if that premium hits two, it will sell. But you always have to do it manually. Can you explain what the trailing stop exactly would do if we had the trailing stop? On trailing stop, honestly, I'm not 
to be completely honest, I am not that comfortable uh, using that. I am just, I'm more simple. Like the stop works completely fine with me. Um, I think Jay honestly knows more about trailing stop. Uh, if you guys want to give me a, a, a minute, I could actually kind of explain it. So when it comes to, uh, let's call it a trailing buy. So let's say you get an alert. Um, it costs $1, right? Um, the one important thing that I want to see in that alert is that the ask is, let's say it's 95 cents, and then the bid would be uh, a dollar. There are five cents apart. That means that people are trading so much of it that it's tight. That means that you can get a trail buy, meaning that you're going to want to set it to maybe six cents or 10 cents. You want the stock to uh, option to make you six dollars to ten dollars before, before you, you buy, buy in. in now the reason why is because you feel that there's enough momentum to go the way that you want it to go now let's say that it starts off as a dollar it needs to make ten dollars but now the stock is dipping and the option goes to let's say 90 cents and now it's dipping to 80 cents you haven't bought in yet what you're doing is it still needs to make that $10 momentum your way. So if it dips to 90 to 80 and then it goes back to 90 again, then that's when you buy in. That's your 10 cent trail. Um, my theory in this is that a lot of analysts or a lot of people who make these plays, they have the right idea. You know, the, the play is solid, it is certain. But sometimes the timing isn't always there. You know, nobody can time the exact bottom or the top. So I just want, as my own insurance, is to pay just a little bit extra to know that the momentum is there to make a solid play. I'd rather make, uh, I'd rather pay ten dollars more to make sure it's solid. You know, sometimes uh, people make plays. Um, it is solid, but let's say it drops thirty, forty dollars. Well, if I had the trailing in it. Um, it's going to dip that $30, $40, and then I get in $0.30 cents or $30 cheaper than what was the alert, and now you get in for a better buy. Or if the play never worked out and it just dived as soon as the alert was taken, you could look at it and just go, well, I haven't bought in yet. This is my chance to you know, reevaluate the play. Maybe I don't want to be in there. Maybe something's setting off the market, so this isn't a good time to buy in. Something changes. And then you have the option of canceling because you never bought in. Um, it's the same situation with the trail. Um, let's say that you're up $100. Now you're willing to lose, let's say you put $0.20 cents as a trail sell. So that means when you're up $100, uh, you're willing to lose the $20, and then you're able to get out for 80 or if it keeps climbing, let's say it goes $100, $110, $120, $130, $140, and then it dips down to $120, well, you had the insurance of, well, it never dipped. It keeps on climbing, making you more money. But now you have the insurance in the back of your head that even if it does dip, um, you got out for an even higher profit than you originally thought. You know, it's all momentum. Basically, you want it to go your way. This is why you do a trail buy or a trail sell. Um, many the many times I'll use a trail sell because um, I'm working. I, I don't I trade full time, but I actually have a, another job, so I'm away from my my phone. So that's why I'll do a trail sell. So I just have the insurance in the back of my head that it went further enough in my way and then if it does sell then it's going to sell on its own without me having to manually check on the play so um there's techniques to it um you know we can always go over that on our own time but there's positives and negatives to it you know sometimes it's not good to do these trail sales let's say on tesla because if you do let's say a 50 dollar trail sometimes these market makers will find a way to snag you and you're going to buy $50 over or whatever you wanted and then they're going to drop the price on you. So now not only did you get a bad buy-in, you're getting dragged all the way down to whatever you know they take it to. But that's neither here nor there. 
we could talk about that later. It's a slightly more advanced, but it's definitely useful. Something that we could talk about later. And that's that concludes my little explanation. Thanks, Thank Jay. You. Yep, yep. What's the difference between you buy a sell call and then you buy a call? I think I know what you're meaning here. I think you're meaning that you're selling a call. So selling means you're so, okay. I'm, I don't want to get too complicated here because we're trying to just keep it to the basics and people are going to get kind of confused. There's a difference between selling premium and selling a contract. Selling premium requires leverage or margin. Okay. Your overall goal for selling premium is to buy it back for a much cheaper price. That is how you close that position. When you sell a call, like when you're selling a contract, like a call or a put, you're closing the contract, right? So selling premium is that your overall goal is to buy it back for a much cheaper price. That's how you make money. And that's how you close the contract. Now selling a contract itself, you're just closing that contract. So basically you sell a call in high price, but then, but then buy a call for the low price. I think you're getting a little mixed up. I don't want you to get mixed up. Let, let, we'll uh, we'll have another class on that. We're, you know, we're kind of we're uh, at the 90 minute mark. I don't want everyone to be stuck here for a couple hours. Um, well, we can definitely get through the margins again in another class. I just want to keep it simple for uh, this week's class. Any other last minute questions? Sometimes I'm buying a call on TOS. I see a yellow bar across the, that top saying some weird expiration date before I purchase. So these, oh, wait. Buying a call on TOS. I see a yellow bar across the top. Weird expiration. Oh, we're, I think I know what you're talking about. Well, I mean, there's like this thing, the... I'm not sure. Yellow bar across the top that says weird expiration dates. I'm not exactly sure. Unless I'm completely blinking out. Maybe it's on the phone. There's yellow as in weekly contracts. There's market maker. Um, that's about it. I think I, I actually is typing um, a weekly contract. Yeah, th those are weeklies. Yeah, those are just weekly contracts. So they get like if you can't uh, afford a March 19th, they're going to have a weekly March 12th free that the premiums might be a little cheaper. course i think bemi might have one more question i think we'll end it after that i have a question oh, sure um so we talked a lot about buying and selling options what about just normal shares yep that's a good question so let, let's say you wanted to buy apple stock right what you're gonna do is you're gonna just right click last right right click and you click buy okay so you see how it says stock you're buying stock here okay this is the amount that you're gonna buy well not that you're gonna buy obviously it's not 100 you can change it right so let's just say you know i wanted to buy 40 shares of apple the type says stock um again you want to try to get it as low as possible um but with stock, four cents, not a big difference. Confirm and send, send, order goes through. So again, you can just do, actually, if you're on the charts, you can literally right click the, the price of the stock, 
click buy and you'll see that it shows stock and that's it you, know, you change your quantity um the price of the stock see if you can get a lower price confirm and send awesome, awesome. Thank, thank you, you. of course and course. then the seller is the same process sell is the same process yeah or you can go to monitor like you see like these are here let me do this uh so i gotta delete so here are some of my stocks that i own in this account so uh -huh. let's say i wanted to sell apple right apple i'm going to right click create closing order sell right so I, I can either sell all 110 shares or i can sell a certain amount and i'll click confirm and send okay i'm on the i'm doing the the paper trading with you okay next to my computer and i'm not seeing my stock i see calls and puts that i've done just as practice but i'm not seeing stock let me let me or, see well Maybe. actually i see him in the top i see him in green you do like at the top but when i right click on it there's no option to sell okay oh oh oh, oh. to sell so go on, go on the charts tab on the paper trade uh -huh. you see the the price of the stock yes right click it uh-huh and then it should show buy sell buy custom sell custom do you see that yes okay so if you want to buy, you're going to click buy, right? Mm -hmm. So let's just pretend we, okay. So we just bought a hundred shares. Okay. I just bought a hundred shares of Apple. Okay. Let's say I want to sell a hundred shares right now. I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to right click 114 or whatever the, the, the stock price is. I'm going to click uh -huh. sell. You see how it says sell, right? Yeah. hundred shares. Stock, confirm, sold. Got it. Cool. cool. Thank you. Of course. Of course. I do have a last question. Yeah. So to get started, um, so I'd work a full-time, just regular day job. Mm -hmm. Should I be focused on scalps or swings or a combination or like... I, I think I think swings will be your best bet that way because you know most of our swings are you know two month out expirations three months could be longer that way you don't have to stare at your contract um, and you know the admins will always keep you updated if we're you know either selling it for a loss if we're taking profits and the good thing about Discord is that it gives you a notification straight to your phone obviously day trading is going to be tough because you're going to have to be quick right so i would mainly focus on the swing trades and common stock because common stock there might be an instance where we will buy it and sell it in the next hour or two or whatever the case may be but for the most part we will hold much longer than you know a couple of days thank you no worries Hey, uh, can you kind of demonstrate on how a, a TOS scanner works on Thinkorswim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's say you wanted to make a you know an unusual volume scanner, right? Oh, this is I'm on. Uh, so let me delete this. Let me delete this. So you're on Stock Hacker, right? And you want to click plus to add filter, right? So add filter, you know, for a stock or option doesn't matter. I just use stock um and what you want to do is i'm sorry no 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 no. I'm not, ignore me on this add filter let's say you want to do volume right or patterns or the case may be so let's say we do um patterns and i want unusual volume okay so i'm going to go on unusual volume right so current bars volume um i just use regular volume uh increased at least you know whatever percent you want it at if we're just doing the volume um from its typical average so let's just say you you look you know you played around with your scanner and it looks good what you're gonna do is you're just gonna click you know how many stocks do you want the more the more stocks you want on this scanner the slower your tos is gonna be 
right? Because it's working a lot harder. So I like to put like 200, right? I'm going to click 200, symbol, ascending, scan. It will scan all the stocks that have unusual volume at least 20% from typical average over 50 periods, so 50 trading days. And so these are going to be all the stocks that you can look at. Now you can customize this. You can, you know, you can edit it. You can cancel it, add filter, um, patterns, uh, ascending triangle, descending triangle, um, you know, whatever time frame. It's just pretty cool. So it will give you a list of stocks that will, you know, have a certain pattern. Um, but you just got to play around with it. And whatever fits your, your needs, you just click scan and they will all pop up. If I can watch my screen for the whole trading day, is scalp a better choice for me? I mean, either, either, or, you know, if you're comfortable with, with just scalping, um, you can just scalp. If you like both, you can always, you know, you can always do both. Um, I think scalping, it's not even that you have to stare at your screen. I think it's more, you just got to be up to date with your contract. Um, you know, obviously, you know, looking at your screen too is great because you kind of, you can see how the stock is moving, but let's just say, um, you don't have it. You're not looking at your screen, um, for the whole trading day, but you can look at your option contract. So it really depends. You know, we, we don't have a preference. Um, you know, if you, if you can set the screen all day, you can do both swing and scalp, just whatever fits your trading style. Did I set this up? I did, yes. And I'm gonna send you guys. I gotta I gotta put together this document for you guys of all the scanners I use. Here, give me a give me a day or two so I can put them together and then I can send it to you guys. Um I think uh we're gonna end it there. I'm running out of time. I got a meeting to head to. Um, but I want to you know say thanks to all of you for participating. I hope you know it was some sort of help. It is recorded. Um, I will post it in the class recap um, section. And again, don't be afraid to you know ask questions in the question tab or in the premium. You know we're all here to help each other. So hope you guys have a good rest of your night, and we'll uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Of course.